You press the button on the remote control to watch TV. By the way, did you know that this button is not an on-off button, but a standby button? Knowing the slight difference between these two buttons can save you a few bucks on your monthly electricity bill. Why is there a standby button on our electronics, but not an on-off button? In the binary number system that computers use, the number 1 represents on, whereas number 0 represents off. So the symbol representing on and off looks like this. Nowadays, you may see that most electronic devices have this standby button instead of an on-off button. Then, why does this standby button look like this? Obviously, the number 1 and 0 appear to exist together. In fact, this means that the electrical device is currently turned off and on at the same time. This is because electronics require small levels of electricity to remain ready before they work. This electricity is known as standby power and it refers to the energy drawn down by an appliance when it's not in use. Remote control electronic devices tend to be the biggest power stealers in our households. This includes TVs, stereos, and multifunction printers since they need to be ready to receive and respond the on command when you can turn them on again. In Australia, standby power consumption costs the average household almost $100 per year. A simple strategy to reduce standby power use is to turn devices off at the wall. However, it may not be easy to completely shut off the power, such as the hidden, hard-to-reach power points behind the furniture. If so, it may be helpful to use a power board with individual switches or master-slave power boards. With a little bit of interest, you can save on your electricity bills and protect the earth at the same time.